Okay, so we've assessed the nose. nose. Let's have a little taste. Okay. Again. So the first thing we're going to have a look at is the sweetness of the of the wine, and this ranges from dry to luscious. Now, uh, this wine is, is dry. We don't exactly. detect any yeah. any sweetness whatsoever. All wines, even if they're described as dry, will have some tiny amount of what we call residual sugar. But if a wine is dry. It should be below our level of perception. Okay, if you run your tongue around your mouth now, you don't really feel any of that viscosity or any yeah. of that sugar. Um, so yeah, we describe it as dry. The mm -hmm. um, next thing we're talking about is acidity. So acidity is I the thing that makes your, your mouth water. Yeah, when I, I took and then I tasted this wine, I could was just thinking about wow, that's a good acidity. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So it makes your mouth water. Some people it makes your tongue tingle. I think the the important thing with all these sensations is everyone's mouth is different. So how you feel acidity yourself, you know, there's different difference between pe uh, people enormously. We're well, more sensitive, no? Some I'm Absolutely. more sensitive to sweetness, for example, no, yeah, and maybe yeah. others to um, acidity. Yeah, no, absolutely. We're going to try and look at a high acid wine. Um, tannin is something we're going to ignore. Tannin, uh, we just find in red wines, it's this feeling of your mouth drying out. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll skip past that. Okay. Next thing is alcohol. Um, so alcohol you really detect as a sort of burning sensation. People often point to the, to the back of their throat. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of WFET, um, low alcohol is 10.9% below. Medium Not alcohol. so common in Spain, no? <laughs> Medium alcohol is 11 to 13.9 and high alcohol is 14% plus. So while we do say the vast majority of wines you're going to taste in a WFET course, because we taste wines from all around the world, we'll probably sit in that medium bracket, of okay. course in Spain. More than <laughs> lots and lots of things from are 14% up. Um, so yeah, we've got a medium alcohol uh, wine, you shouldn't feel too much burning sensation. I didn't here. feel here, so we would. I would guess it's medium. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely correct, we're at 11.5, so good lunchtime wine. Um, good, the next thing we're looking at is the body. Body is about how heavy the wine feels mm -hmm. in your mouth. So think about things like um, like milk is a kind of example we often use at WFET. We talk about uh, skimmed, semi-skimmed and full fat milk. How heavy do those feel in your mouth, even though they all have more or less the same flavour? Um, I think if uh, lots of people aren't milk drinkers, another thing to think about is like fruit juices. So okay. like the That's weight right. of lemon juice in your mouth versus um, an orange juice, but heavier versus something like a, a peach juice or a mango okay. juice, which Not is fake. really, really yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So um, yeah, how heavy does the wine sort of sit on your on your palate. Um, here I'd probably describe this as a medium minus um, sort yeah. of body. Does it uh, influence if the wine was aged? For example, aging in oak, does it make a body more full body? Um, yes, yes and no. <laughs> um, depends on the other way my making techniques are being used as well. So for example, lees aging, um, mm -hmm. and often we find lees aging and battle aging in, uh, in conjunction. Lease aging does give us more body because we're leaving that solid in contact with the liquid. Oak on its own, you could mm, doesn't directly add mm -hmm. body, you wouldn't body. say, um, but it, as I said, it could be used in conjunction with other things, which would give you more body. Mm -hmm. Okay, clear. Um, good. Uh, where are we? Flavor intensity. So flavor intensity on the palate is very similar to what we talk about on the nose. So how strong are those flavors coming through? Um, often this can really mirror what we saw on the nose. So it can be exactly the same, and other times it feels less or it feels more, depending on the depending on the style. So I could feel say, a lot of citrus, like more actually in the mouth than in the nose. On the nose, okay. So yeah, flavor and testy. We could say medium, or we could say medium plus even. Yeah, she says lots of those citric notes are coming through a little yeah. bit more. And moving on to flavors, yeah, yeah absolutely. Lime, but for me it's almost like a kind of citrus peel character, mm -hmm. lemon peel or um, orange peel as well. Um, other flavours that we detected on the nose, things like the floral character mm -hmm. are definitely yeah, coming flowers. through. Mm -hmm. If you think about like orange blossom water that you might use in baking and things like this, mm -hmm. you feel that sort of yeah, orangey floral sort of tone. Um, again, honeysuckle would work really nicely here. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of those lazy notes, on the aftertaste with this wine, you should get a slight bit of bitterness. Exactly, I wanted to say bitterness, not more than this kind of toasty, but more bitter. So yeah. I can, I thought it's like an orange peel. That's why it's this bitterness. 
Yeah, absolutely. I think it's that combination of the sort of bitter peel and uh, and yeah, some kind of raw bread roll that sort of taste mm-hmm. as well. Alright. Um, good. And the last thing that we talk about is the finish on the wine. So the finish is about how long we can taste the wine after we have sped it out um, or we drunk it. Um, there so is a difference if actually we don't spit it, does it taste longer? There, there shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are only benefits of spitting. <laughs> there, sh- there really, really shouldn't be. We don't have any taste receptors in the, in the throat, so technically once we've, um, once we've spat it out or swallowed it, it should be, it should be the same. It's definitely more enjoyable to swallow it, but that's not what In front of the discuss. camera, we only spit, <laughs> and then we turn the camera, we, <laughs> we have the bottle. <laughs> At only 11.5, why not? Exactly. Um, Gabe says, it's a bit, if it finishes a bit, how long can you taste those um, those flavours? We sort of say like a short is a one, two, and it's disappeared. Medium minus is a two, three, and so on and so forth. If you're talking about the wine, like just now, you can still taste yeah. the flavours. It's got a pretty, pretty long, long finish. finish. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, which oh, surprising. I think is something unusual with this wine because um, yeah, we said kind of medium or medium plus in terms of flavour intensity and often those are the two things that mirror one another. The flavour intensity on the palate and how long you can taste it for after. Um, so yeah, I'd probably go for a medium plus sort of finish here. Sounds good. I agree. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, excellent. And the last thing we're going to talk about is the, is, or the conclusion.